it seems like uh, we will always have freight. And why do I say that? It's because all the freight that we deliver to stores, the clothes, the tools, the food, the essential items you feel like you need, at the end of the day, they get recycled. See all these hangers? See all this hanger? See all these hangers? This is freight that was on the back of a truck, right? That you guys consume, and now it comes back here to get put back on my truck to get taken to a recycle place to get used again as product to get put back on my truck. So, if you think that the trucking industry is gonna run out of freight, got to be kidding. I mean, just think about it. Look, 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 look. I'm gonna turn it around. Look at these, all these plastic hangers. I mean, look, somebody bought a size 12 right over there. All this, see all these cans? Somebody brung that on a truck. First, you had to get the, the chemical compound in order to make that, <coughs> which came on a train. Then, after they made it, they had to get the prints, the labels, do it, and everything else to make to put in the can, as well as make the can. And then it gets put on a truck, right? Gets put on a truck, taken to a, um, a particular location, which a truck driver is getting paid to do, right? Just to get recycled, to get put back on my truck for me to take it to another place in order for it to get squished like it is now, crushed, put back on a truck just so it can get stripped down to the bare minimum in order to be recycled to put back on a truck. All I'm saying is we're going to have freight for days, people. There's always going to be freight out here because people are always going to want the new hottest clothes Look at all these hangers. They always gonna want the new hottest clothes and they always gonna wanna quench their thirst. And then once they consume that product, recycle that product, then it get put back on my truck. And not only that, the clothes, I pick up clothes from the desert, what is it called, the desert something. It's like a Goodwill. And I pick up clothes from there and take them from Nevada down to Arizona and from Arizona back up to Nevada. So not only is the clothes that was once on this hanger that the, the value of the clothes was X amount of dollars, but now the X amount of dollars went down, it got reused, put back on my truck, dropped it off over at Goodwill for somebody else to use. Once they get done with it, they either gonna drop it off, throw it away or whatever, that's still gonna go on the back of a truck. So it's, it's, it's gonna be, there's no way you can tell me that freight, we don't have no freight. When I'm standing here, with a freight that was already on at least two trucks is about to get put back on my truck. You know what I mean? So, I mean, just look at this. Literally, the amount of hangers I'm here, I'm seeing here, there gotta be hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of a product that was on one bundle. The bundle probably weigh at least good 8,000 pounds. You know what I mean? So, now I'm about to get put back on my truck. About to take it, go get recycled, reused, and then put back on another truck in order for it to get recycled, reused. So, <laughs> we got freight, people. It might not be paying what you wanted to pay, but we got freight. It's always going to be some freight. Right now, I'm about to pick up. Oh, if you're going to California, you definitely don't want plastic or cans if you're going to California. I'm picking up paper. So all those uh, paper loads from uh, Lim Lima over in, uh, in California. Pick up those paper loads from Lima over in California. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it get turned into. Product, right? They get turned into product. They use it. They recycle it. So not only did I deliver the, the, the original product to whomever made these products, but now I'm about to pick up the leftovers and put it back on my truck and go make money. All I'm saying is, pray for days. Now this shit is heavy, so, <laughs> but in the, anyway, I just wanted to come holler at y'all, man. Just wanted to come holler at y'all. I'm out of here, peace.